this tutorial is a continuation of my Ruby on Rails series and my uh, Git tutorial video. Um, and right now I'm going to show you a service called Heroku for uh, deploying and hosting your Ruby Rack or Rails applications in the cloud. Um, so something that's uh, probably the most appealing thing uh, about Heroku is their deployment system. Um, it's just Git based and you just uh, basically do a Git push to their uh, server and uh, you know the appropriate gems are installed or updated um, in the cloud. Uh, you can do remote um, rake commands like for uh, database migrations and stuff like that so um, it's just a pretty simple or uh, uh, a pretty easy to use system for uh, a very powerful um, application hosting environment so uh, they have a pretty uh, advanced server uh, system here that uh, helps to optimize application performance, database performance, and stuff like that. So uh, if you go to Heroku.com and go to how it works, you can uh, kind of read more about how Heroku uh, ex uh, speeds up the your application. Um, and so how it works is Her Heroku is a, a scalable application host, meaning that based off of the number of users on your service or uh, the intensity uh, or like kind of the the uh, difficulty of each request you can adjust what are called dynos and what are called workers on Heroku so uh, from the pricing page on Heroku.com uh, it says that a dyno is a single web process running your code and responding to HTTP requests. And um, the more dynos you add using the slider or through their API, um, the more concurrency you can have. Uh, so you would turn up the number of dynos um, for your application to increase the HTTP performance. And then Workers are single background processes running uh, your code and processing jobs from a queue. So ba these work um, in the background like uh, a thread, and um, these uh, these allow for requests to be handled quicker. It empties the the uh, queue of your application quicker. Um, so yeah, once again, there's there's a Ruby-based API for uh, adjusting that through code, or uh, they also have a a gem or a command line interface for interacting with your Heroku account. I will show you the command line interface, um, and then down here we have dedicated uh, the the database packages. Um, so uh, there's a free there's a free account that allows you to have one dyno and zero workers, um, which works perfectly fine for like testing and uh, staging and very low scale production. Uh, and with that comes a basic five megabyte shared database, and that's also free. Um, but uh, within the shared database area, you can also increase. Um, the storage uh, to 20 gigabytes, and that's an extra $15. Um, and if you're if you're looking to actually have a a higher scale production application or whatever, you're storing a lot of data. Uh, you can also get a a uh, dedicated database package. Um, so the first one is $200 a month, and you know, and then there's the the, the upper level one is six thousand four hundred dollars. So uh, chances are, to get started, you won't be looking at any of the dedicated databases, but they they are available. And then lastly, uh, 
you can get add-ons for your Heroku account, um, and there's a huge array of them here, and you can just look at that, your, that yourself. So, what I'm, what I'm going to do here is just quickly show you uh, the command line interface to Heroku, and the first thing uh, you need to do is uh, ensure that the Heroku gem is installed uh, by doing sudo gem install Heroku. Uh, I already have it installed so I don't have to actually run that command. And I'm just going to create a uh, a test Rails project where I will that I will deploy um, to Heroku as an example. So Rails new uh, my I'll just do my Heroku. Okay and then I'll go into that directory. And so from here, uh, I'll do a git init. So once again, Heroku uses a git-based deployment system. Um, so the first thing you should do within your Rails or your Rack application directory is uh, initialize the git repository. Next thing I want to do is do a Heroku create. And actually, before we do that, just go ahead and type in Heroku and and uh, make sure that that command is defined um, just to just to make sure that Heroku has been installed and here you can see just a basic some basic documentation of the command line API uh, or the command line interface for Heroku and what I want to do is the Heroku uh, create command to create a new application on Heroku. So Heroku create, and you, you can specify another parameter here uh, for a application name, uh, but in this case I'll just let Heroku generate a, uh, a random name here. And In this case it's, it's creating Electric Leaf 84. Obviously that's not a very good production um, application name or uh, URL but it's fine for these purposes. Uh, now I'm going to uh, add all my files in the directory and if you haven't used git before you can take a look at my git um, tutorial where I talk about all the basic commands for uh, working f with a repository. Um, so I added, I did a git add, I'll do a git commit and just say like initial commit and then finally, I'll do a git push Heroku master. Um, so yeah. And sorry, I actually uh, forgot to kind of explain what's going on up here a little bit more. Uh, so when I do the Heroku create, it not only creates the application, but it also creates a git URL I can use, and it adds that remote to this git repository on my local system so I don't have to do a git remote add you know Heroku and then the URL I just it just is there so I just did a push um, and here this takes a little while because the especially for the initial push um, Heroku has to install uh, all of these gems remotely so I'm gonna pause this video really quickly and uh, come back when it's done okay so the uh, push succeeded, it's completed as well, and um, you can see here that it installed a, a few different gems um, because, once again, it is the initial push. Um, and what I'm going to do now, our, our Rails application should be running um, on the Heroku service, and so I'm going to copy the URL that was created from my application and uh, take a look. So here you can see that. Uh, Rails is installed here. Um, this is the basic Rails page. Um, nothing overly special is going on here. It's uh, just that we can see that uh, yeah, how easy it was to um, deploy an application onto Heroku and then uh, how it kind of automatically configured the environment uh, remotely to host our application. Um, so that's about all I have to say here. Uh, thank you for watching and if you're watching this video on Vmeo I also have a YouTube account that's where most of my video tutorials are. 
um, so you can go there and check them out. Uh, if you're on my, if you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, you may go to my uh, Vmail account. Links is in the description box, and uh, follow me there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.